Hey everyone, this is DJ. In today's video, I will show you how to use the new audio sync option that Amazon has added to the Fire TV Stick 4K for adjusting the synchronization between the device's audio and video output. This is Amazon's solution to an ongoing issue with their Fire TV Stick 4K, and hopefully when they release a new 4K stick, this will be fixed without the need of an adjustment. Now I do have another video that has a different solution to this audio sync issue, which I will include a link in the description below. Selecting the new setting will allow you to add or remove an audio delay to compensate for delays added by your TV, soundbar, or AV receiver. This new setting seems to only be available on the 2020 third gen Fire TV Stick, the Fire TV Stick Lite, and Fire TV Stick 4K for now. The second gen Fire TV Stick, the Fire TV Cube, and Fire Edition TVs do not have this new setting as of the making of this video. So let's go check it out and see how it works right after this. The new AV Sync Tuning option, as Amazon calls it, is found under Settings. So let's go over there now. We're going to scroll down to Display and Sounds. Select that. And down to Audio. Select there. And as you can see, it's the last one, AV Sync Tuning. When you open the setting, you will see a blue circle bouncing up and down and a rectangle bar moving across the screen from left to right. When the circle hits the moving bar, you hear a beep. The idea is that if the sound of the beep is heard at the same time as you see the circle touch the bar, then your audio and video output are synchronized. At the bottom of the screen, you have a slider that can be moved left or right. It will shift the device's audio offset forward or backward. Now the way this works is if you're seeing the circle touch the bar before you hear the beep, then you move the slider to the right. If you're hearing the beep before you see the circle touch the bar, then you move the slider to the left. By moving the slider left or right, it does not apply any changes to the audio offset. You need to press the select button on your remote each time you're done moving the slider before the new audio offset gets applied. So when I click on the select button here, you will notice a, a little pause on the screen and now the new audio offset has been applied. If you want to go back to the original setting that was set before, just move the slider over to the little triangle and press the select button again. And that's it. Also, as you can see at the bottom right corner, it shows tuning mode HDMI. If you have a Bluetooth soundbar or headphones connected to the Fire TV Stick 4K, it will say tuning mode Bluetooth instead. This will remember the audio offset you configure for HDMI and Bluetooth separately. So for example, if you only have audio sync issues when using a Bluetooth soundbar, then you can adjust the AV sync for the Bluetooth soundbar, and when you disconnect it, it will revert back to default. Then when you reconnect the Bluetooth device, it will reapply the AV sync setting that you previously configured. This allows you to have two different AV Sync settings, one for HDMI and one for Bluetooth, so that way you don't need to keep changing the AV Sync setting each time you connect or disconnect the Bluetooth device. So for example, let me turn on my Bluetooth speaker, I'll give you a little visual here. <coughs> and as you can see now, it says tuning mode Bluetooth, so I can move the slider around and adjusted for the Bluetooth uh, speaker. So if I press select here, and then when I turn it off, it reverts back to the default setting for the HDMI. And that's it. That's how you adjust the audio sync here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this new audio sync tuning setting will only work if all of your apps are out of sync. If only one or two apps are out of sync, then this new setting probably will not help. Just keep that in mind. All right. I think that should do it for this. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up 
It does let YouTube know that you like what I do here, and it does help my channel grow. Also, make sure you click on subscribe and the little bell icon to get notified of any new videos that I upload. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.